In today's video, we're opening up the first legendary collection ever made. Yu-Gi-Oh! is well known for reprinting old cards and products. Ever since the beginning, Konami has been capitalizing on out-of-print products by re-releasing them in current products or updating them in a different way. This year, we saw the re-release of Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and Invasion of Chaos in booster box form. Though these sets have been reprinted many times throughout the years, this was the first actual box reprint. A slight change, but Konami knew this would be enough to sell a ton of product. They also released a new form of Legendary Collection. Legendary Collection has been printed previously in 2010 as a binder, 2013 as a game board, 2017 in a re-release of the game board, as well as other versions like Legendary Collection 2, The Dual Academy Years, Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World, Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World, Legendary Collection 5Ds, and Legendary Collection Kaiba. Knowing the massive success of the previous products, Konami released a new 25th anniversary edition, which was essentially the same as the 2010, 2013, and 2017 versions in its contents. The difference was they added a new 25th anniversary rare in every box. These products are fun, but did you know that there was actually another legendary collection with a different name? Released all the way back in 2004, Konami released their very first of this type of product, the Master Collection 1. While under a different name, this product was very similar, including the first six sets ever printed, as well as six promo cards, one iconic card from each set, now in Secret Rare. Today, we pit the grandfather of the Legendary Collections against the newcomer, Legendary Collection 25th Anniversary, to find out which is better. What is up, guys? We are back with another epic opening video, and as you guys saw already in the intro, we are opening some pretty cool stuff in this video. First of all, the recent 25th anniversary Legendary Collection. Obviously, we've opened a bunch of this on the channel, but it's never really old. It's just so fun to open it up. So that's, you know, th that's, the, that's the casual part. That's not the big deal. Let's just move on to what the big deal of this video is. For the big deal that we're here for is, as you guys saw in the intro, the first Legendary Collection ever made. It's not even called Legendary Collection. We have Master Collection Volume 1. And by ever made, I mean English. There is, a, I think, OCG that might be a little bit earlier, but the TCG, Master Collection Volume 1. I think one time we did open the OCGs, though, so you guys can go check that video out. We did English and OCG. It was pretty fun for the Master Collection, but we are opening the first one ever. Last time we opened a Master Collection, it wasn't Master Collection 1. It was actually both. We pulled pretty insane. If you guys remember that Dark Magician girl that had the damage, go check that one out. If you guys have not seen that somehow, it went crazy. It was an awesome video. It was an amazing last moment and terrible at the same time but we're going to be pitting these two against each other because this is a six pack box with one uh set of promos and then we have a six pack binder with a set of promos as well so the cool thing about master collection one is this is actually one of the only legendary collections that they've actually printed not the same six packs they actually did the first six packs in this which a lot of people think legendary collection is but they don't realize that invasion of chaos and dark crisis are not in the first six packs they actually had legacy of darkness and labyrinth of nightmare in these which makes them pretty awesome because a lot of people really like legacy of darkness and labyrinth of nightmare obviously invasion of chaos is really awesome too but you know dark crisis not so much it's it's just cool to have the first six but enough jabbering let's get these open and start getting the packs out but before we do that we do have a giveaway i'll be giving away these two egyptian god card decks obelisk and slifer talk about old school just like the video be subscribed to our notifications let me know down below what you think will win will it be the master collection one or will it be legendary collection 25th anniversary all right first we have legendary collection which these boxes are so much smaller than the master Cle master collection they made them the biggest possible uh casing or whatever you want to call it the binder is massive like it's not even very usable it's kind of a crappy binder it's just gigantic so i really appreciate how small the 25th anniversary is so here are the packs you get for 25th anniversary we've been getting these since 2010 every time they've reprinted it's been lob metal raiders pharaoh servant dark crisis spell ruler and invasion of chaos so the master collection is slightly different which i've already talked about uh first of all the massive binder which looks really cool and everything but Oh, by the way, let me just throw that out there. This was $39.99 back then. Definitely not $39.99 now. A lot more expensive for me. But even then, $39.99 is kind of expensive for this because like Legendary Collection has always been 30 to I think 32 for the 25th. So back then, man, we were getting taxed for these things, but it was first six rare and out of print sets. So hey, pretty cool. Okay, we'll take our little Master Collection piece of paper thing off. Then we're left with a very shiny binder, which is blinding me in the light right now. It is, it is not easy to look at this thing. Okay. We're going to open it up. We're going to need space here because you guys know how binders work on these videos. Let me just grab this. Let me just give you guys a little look at this. So we have the Exodia Barrel Dragon Relinquish. So they have a promo from each set. So basically the Exodia from LOB becomes a secret rare. The Barrel Dragon from Metal Raiders becomes a secret rare. Spell Ruler, they get the Relinquish in secret rare. 
The Pharaoh Servant gets Thousand Eyes Restrict. We got the LON gets Dark Necrofear, and then the Dark Ruler Hades from Le Legacy of Darkness. So this is really cool. These are all EN packs, by the way, which isn't as special anymore now that we have them in 25th anniversary. So it will be an EN battle today, which is pretty cool. But here's what we got. You guys can see me in there. Hi, guys. How's it going? I'm going to get all these out so we actually have room to see what's going on, and then we'll do the battle. All right, we have gotten our promos out. So they tend to come pretty warped as you guys can see here they are very warped and they're in like different directions too so we're gonna see if any of the corners are dinged a lot of times they are in these um so we might have gotten out with pretty decent copies actually uh, a little bit going on i mean we'll probably call them lightly played because of the warping for now so everything in terms of the price of the battle is just going to be lightly played we might be able to flatten them out a little bit but uh that looks like lightly played i mean if we see any corner dings we'll make a moderately played this thing is extremely warped look at this that is Pringle City right there. Uh, yeah, anybody hungry? Anybody want to munch on some chips? Well, I got a barrel dragon for you, baby. All right, that's going to be LP as well. I mean, you can you can work on warping, you know, put them under some books and stuff. It sort of works, uh, you know, stuff like that. But you can't really fix like a real bend, but this isn't a bend. This is more of a warp. So could be adjusted, but we'll still call them lightly played for now because they're not in currently near mint condition, unfortunately. But it looks like the scuffing and the corners and everything is pretty nice on these. So maybe if I put them under some uh, boxes of cards or something, they might turn out OK. Dark Ruler Hades, they are really beautiful cards, though. Some of the best promos we've ever gotten was the Master Collection promos, especially, uh, you know, just a few. And like Master Collection 2 has some great ones. Master, there's, you know, like Dark Ruler Hades is cool, but not like the craziest one. But stuff like Dark Necro feels really awesome. All right. So those we got the total price already for those. Let's see what we get out of here. So we're not going to turn it around because that'll spoil what our 25th is. But I know the Blue Eyes is pretty expensive in here. I think last I saw it was like 25 bucks. Been a while since I've looked, but yeah, 25 bucks is pretty awesome for a promo card. So let's see what we can get out of here. We got something shiny, obviously, in the back. So these, I don't know if these add up to anything. These regular ones are probably under a dollar for those. Let's see if we get anything crazy. Ah, oh, the blue eyes white dragon, baby. That's the good one. The blue eyes that might out outprice all of those, which is actually insane. So we're off to an epic start right now in this battle. We've got six packs left of each. Let me know who you're rooting for. I'm going to reverse order these actually. OK, we are going to lead it off with Invasion of Chaos, the newest of all the sets. This is the 10th set in Yu-Gi-Oh, not the sixth set or the fifth set like people think it is when they open Legendary Collection. It is not either of those. It is the 10th set. I cannot speak, though. Really struggling. Begone, Knave. Skull Marked Ladybug. We have Chaos Greed. Let's see what we can pull. Uh, I'm on the 11 minute mark of recording. I don't think it's going to be that far in, but we are finally opening Sasuke Samurai. A little bit of a slow start, but there's a lot to look at for these two things. And we did a cool intro and stuff. Let's do Legacy of Darkness. This is the newest set for the Master Collection one, which came out in 2004, by the way. So we're talking 19 year, almost 20 year anniversary of Master Collection. These should be Ian uh, Legacy of Darkness, which are really hard to find. It might only be able to find it in here, actually. So let's see, are they? Yeah, they are. So if you pull like an Ian Secret Rare, that's pretty awesome. One, two, three, four. Will they ever reprint these? I know somebody's gonna ask in the comments. Probably not. They haven't reprinted this stuff. That's what's so interesting about Master Collection. They have actually reprinted Legacy of Darkness, Labyrinth of Nightmare, but it's been 19 years. It's been that long. Ray, uh, Dragon's Rage, Ryukish and Clown. We have Heart of Clear Water. Maybe, oh, actually, technically, Labyrinth of the Nightmare was reprinted in 2007, but like, it's been a very long time, is what I'm saying. Heart of Clear Water. They've just been doing the same sets over and over, so I don't expect them to do that. Ominous Fortune Telling, Warrior Die Graffer. Really, since I guess they took over from Upper Deck, they haven't reprinted them. Um, Dragon Dwelling in the Cave. I believe that's correct. Spirit's Invitation. We have Twin Headed Wolf. Very cool. And we have a. Bottomless Trap Ball, pretty awesome card. I mean, Bottomless is an amazing trap card that's used in a lot of old formats. So honestly, that might actually be a dollar. Okay, we're starting it off okay. And let's see if we can continue it and make it awesome with Dark Crisis. Probably the most uninteresting set. It's still a good set. I mean, still has a lot of cool stuff, but overall, probably the least interesting. Final Countdown used to be a dollar or two. I don't know if it still is. We can see if that's on the screen. You guys will see. We got a total up there. Sisters of Dogla, Ray of Hope. Shooting Star Bow Seal, we have Guardian Cased. Contract with the Abyss and a blast held by a tribute ultra rare. Check out that Dragon Ball we got going on right there. That's pretty sick. And a precious cards from beyond. Nice pull already. All right, next pack we have Labyrinth of Nightmare, L-O-N. 
This is a pretty cool one to open up because Elo, yeah, Elowen got printed in the Tactical Evolution blisters, and that is like probably the last time it's been printed. So it hasn't gotten a lot of reprints. One, two, three, four. Like these other four sets we're about to open have gotten a lot. So it'd be cool to get a Gemini Elf in or even a Magic Cylinder. We have Emperor's Holiday. The Gross Ghost of Lead Dreams. Watch out. Lady Assailant of Flames. Dragonic Attack. Oh, that's a Ruxin special. The Earl of Demise. This gentlemanly creature is extremely wicked, feared by man and fiend alike. Watch out, he's gentlemanly and he's feared. Soul of Purity and Light. Deal of Phantom. Looks very similar to the Soul of Purity and Light. Flying Fish. Oh, wishes are granted to those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight. The Flying Fish. Watch out. Jam Breeding Machine. Another rare. Oh no, we're starting off 0 for 2 in the Master Collection, but we still have four packs left. There is still hope. Let's keep going. If you are enjoying the video so far, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. Let's see if we can hit 300,000 subscribers. Probably we'll never do it, but if you guys hit the subscribe button, we might. Keys to die with a little finger. Watch out. DNA Surgery. Yuruchin Kuwagata. Ground Collapse. Burning Land. Dimension Hole. Will it be a Jinzo? No, but it will be Flame Champion, a warrior protected by a flaming shield that nullifies any attack. All right, so it's uh, one nothing over here in terms of actual foils. The total score, though, I don't know. I bet that the uh, the newer is actually ahead, though, because of the Blue Eyes White Dragon pull. Pharaoh Servant, can we get a Jinzo? I'm guessing it would be Imperial Order out of here, but it's not a blister, so maybe you... No, we pulled Dark Magician Girl, so you definitely could get a Jinzo out of here. Jinzo Ian would be pretty amazing. Dark Bat, let's go. We have, well, that was Master Collection 2. We really don't know. Let's just pull it. Insect Imitation, Attack and Receive. A lot of this old stuff, you really, it's hard to know. World Suppression, Flame Champion, unless you've done it before, which we have on some of them, but not on the Jinzo. Respect play. We pulled almost every Jinzo. We have not pulled an Ian Jinzo, so let's just throw that out there. Guru Chinku Agata, Souls of the Forgotten, and we have a Grave Robber. We'll take it. PSV-EN Grave Robber. Very cool. I mean, technically, we pulled the Ian Jinzo of the 25th. That's different, though. It doesn't count. Grave Robber, it doesn't count as an EN because, you know, it's EN, but it's different. First foil for the Master Collection, Grave Robber. The old foils just look so good, guys. Halfway through this battle, and it is an intense one. We both have a foil. They're gold trap cards, interestingly enough. One, two, three. Can we get a Blue Eyes tune to really blow this thing out? Rising Air Current. We have Gaia Power, Mystic Plasma Zone, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Penguin Knight, Stone Ogre Grotto, Luminous Spark, Mega Ryuran and a Griggle. Hey, Griggle. How's it going? Is he like blowing his hair up right there? It looks easy, like, you know, like, you know, like uh, the, the, the teenage thing people used to do back in the day, blow your hair out of your eyes. He's like a teenage orange or something. Oh, this is the talking orange's teenage years. Makes so much sense. All right, Spell Ruler. After that amazing joke, let's see what we can get. Can we pull the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon out of here? It'd be pretty epic. I'd be down. How about a Relinquish? We've already got a Secret Rare Relinquish. We might as well pair it with an Ultra. One, two, three, four. We have the Penguin Knight, the Knight of Penguins, Igaboon. Queen Bird, man, it's such a cool product. Master Collection is really good. Queen Bird and Whiptail Crow are definitely related. Just saying. We have the Chorus of Sanctuary, Mechanical Snap. Guardian of the Throne Room. Where's his little brother? Speaking of being related, I mean, that is the little brother. Where's the older brother, I should say? Labyrinth, Labyrinth Wall. Oh, Banisher of the Radiance. I thought there was one more card. Banisher of the Radiance, super rare. I was struggling with Labyrinth Wall. That is a beautiful foil right there. Old school pointy finger, man. We'll take it. That's two foils. Okay, this is getting interesting here. Two packs left of each. Metal Raiders. You guys know I love Metal Raiders. If you guys have not seen my Metal Raiders versus LOB, we're doing a mini version right now. Go check out my video I did the other day. Metal Raiders versus LOB. We opened a first ed of both packs. I mean, crazy expensive. So go check it out. Armored Lizard. We have Tainted Wisdom. We have Rainbow Flower. Yadokaru. Punished Eagle. Crasclon. Water Ramonics with the shirt on. Dark Elf. And a Bickery. Bickery box both clowns added together equal bickery box now we open the old school the en we have pulled an en gate guardian at some point in the channel it's been a long time but we have done it i don't know which video it was too many videos on the channel. we're over 1500 almost 1600 videos i think now over 1600 if you include the ones i unlisted from dual links but it's been a lot we have more infin pump king the king of ghosts watch out bones oh Got a little Ruxin special surprise back there, Crass Clown, and the Pequeno Moth E-N. This is a special one, very rare. Got to pull that aside. That's an amazing pull. Pequeno Moth, already a great pack. Bickery Bickery Box again, and they both got Bickery Box. Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress, numero uno. Grand Attacker, Bugroth, not Burgoff, and... Oh, no, not and. King of Yummy Makai wields the power of darkness to destroy its enemies. Whew, it's got 1530 defense, keep that in mind, and... 
Ooh, a Mask of Darkness. All right, just a rare Mask of Darkness. Cool card, but you know, it's just a rare. Two packs left, everybody. Two packs left in this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content, old school, new school, new sets, old sets, other stuff like top 10s, Drilling Lizard. Hopefully you guys liked the top 10 video, which I did the other day. Uh, top 10 uh, most collectible sets of all time. Maybe if you want to see more, let me know. Dark Energy, we have Violent Crystal. Dark World Thorns, last LOV pack for the 25th anniversary. Panda, Immortal Numero Uno, Numi Rico. We have Aquamador, and will it be the Blue Eyes White Dragon? No, but it is a Man Eater Bug. We'll take it. Second foil, that's two out of six. Really not bad for old school ratios. Plus the Blue Eyes White Dragon 25th, so they're sitting okay right now. Are they ahead though? Not sure. Here's the score. I think they might be slightly ahead. Let's see what the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon can do. EN version, let's go. And also, speaking of different versions of LOB, Another video you might not have seen. Go check it out. Every version of LOB. I posted a video the other day, one, two, a couple weeks ago, actually, but one, two, three, four. Can we get the blue eyes? Here we go. Dark World Thorns. That one also had a first head LOB pack. Red Medicine. We have Karama. Terror the Terrible. Remove Trap. Can we get something crazy? Steel Ogre Grotto. Numero Uno. Monster Egg. Numuriko. Okay, I always say Numi, Numu, Numuruko or something. That's not right. It's Numuriko. I'm trying to fix that. And finally, we have. Oh, the Aquamador ended it with a rare out of Legend of Blue Eyes. Aquamador, a wizard of the waters that conjures a liquid wall to crash any enemies that oppose him. Crush, I would think. Crash probably is not the right word. I just can't read. And once again, thanks again for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leo Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.